Hey with them, Snell. Welcome to a little collection update brought to you by you. Well, everybody in the patron and Caligari Records. Now, right now, we're going to be blasting the new dripping decay, festering grotesqueries on Satanic Royalty Records. Snag this from Caligari. The distro right now is literally disgustingly incredible. And I managed to get a few birds stoned at once. All the art is fantastic, tales to Robocop. But this is disgusting and exactly what I wanted after the incredible edible demo. If it was edible, you'd probably get food poisoning and die. It was gross. It's around my feet somewhere, melting in some sort of slop. I know it's around here. I apologize for not having it ready, but just know dripping decay rule. And I've been waiting for the full length and it's everything I could have hoped for. This is my second playthrough. Physically, I've been cheating and listening digitally. It's amazing. But hold on a second. Also comes on a real sick pro tape. Hails to Satanic Royalty Records for releasing such a sickening slab of death. And now, on to the bestial Black Death side of things. Completing my Profane Order collection, pretty much. Tightening the noose of sanity. I meant sanctum. Tightening the noose of sanctimonium. Sanctimonium! Ah! Tightening the noose of sanctimonium by the mighty Profane Order. Now, I know I have the other two releases on vinyl. I do not have the demo, but I think the demo is actually on here. I'm not entirely sure yet, but it looks very DIY, and that's awesome. It says, Recorded in Montreal, June 2017. I don't know if this was reissued, but definitely with self-release. And this is one of the gnarliest Profane Order releases in my personal opinion. It's like semi like off the rails gnarly. Like, hold on one sec again. Like, I, I really love their modern sound, and their new logo is sick, but Slave Morality, oh my goodness, I wish I had both these on tape. Sentium Ruin did uh, Slave Morality, Canadian War Metal Tormentors Profane Order detonate with their incinerary debut LP. Unleashing an unholy sonic firestorm of unrelenting black death metal chaos and destruction for fans of revenge, deflation, conqueror, Montreal's own blasphemic warriors return with their second album, Chaotic, Malevolent, and Merciless. This album is sure to please fans of Demoncy, Blasphemy, and Archgoat. I love Profane Order, so 
I'm a happy camper here. Whoops. So I'm tightening the noose of sanctimony. There we go. Sorry. I can't get over how good this is. And for our final release. Now. There's a little story behind this. And I know I've told it before on the channel. But. The debut. From Where Goat. Now, I know I've shown this parasitic first press off before. This was bought by Tim off eBay and then given to me a couple thousand miles away in Denver, Colorado for the exact price he paid on eBay for his own band's record. At the time, this had not been reissued and was only released on CD. There's some thunder for the Weregoat. I do not know if this got a Vault of Dried Bones tape release, but I need Slave Bitch of the Black Ram Master on cassette, and I am 100% good on Weregoat EPs and full lengths on tape and splits, pretty much. The ones I know exist on that but why am i going over this and the daunting like legit mission i went on to get this at the spectral voice record release show because for five fucking dollars because caligari is one of the sickest labels of all time turns out parasitic joined up with uh Behold Barbarian and did a cassette version of Unholy, Unholy Exultion of Full Moon Perversity. Now, like I said, this is legit one of my personal favorite Weregoat releases, and that's saying a lot if you know how much I love Weregoat and I love how the B side. Of the records right there. I, I'm sorry. I can't really. Go too much further in. But. um, Oh shit. I like how I have a higher resolution photo. Of the back cover. Promo photo. That actually like. And even. That's a better. Quality. Photo than the LP version, in my opinion, kind of like. Let, I mean, I think this is a little bit darksy, but that might be even a, a. It is. That's a different photo. I apologize. That's even cooler than getting alternative art. I meant, you know, all. I, anytime I get extra shit like that, I'm stoked. But I know on the inside, there's this badass picture yeah it's it's a tight well they're both equally sick just this one's just a little bit cleaner but still that's so awesome i'm so happy to have unholy exultion a full moon perversity on cassette so stoked like seriously i know i'm like, nerding out, but, like, seriously, you know, it's one of those things, like, I, I've been trying to get all, because, like, I know there's a copy of Slave Bitch of the Black Ram Master on tape. Uh, I know Volta Dry Bones did it a long time ago. But will I ever be able to score a copy? I don't know. Here's a little bit of extra art, though. Again, sometimes... Like, if you're a nerd like me, it's awesome to just have, you know, 
different versions, like on different formats of the same record, just because you never know. And this is not the Iron Bonehead reissue. This is the original Parasitic one. Because I know Iron Bonehead reissued uh, this. And I have uh, the Disciples of War version. Like, I, I don't have the uh, Slave Bitch of the Black Ram Master with the Diocletian songs. Although, like, those Diocletian songs, aside from this, are probably some of my favorite Where Goat tracks. But I already have Slave slave bitch but like i would love to get it on cassette with the if, with those bonus tracks if possible but from caligari right now i got these three bangers and i i could have spent the entire patron in caligari but luckily dripping decay was on the list and a couple months ago, somebody brought this up, and I was like, if I ever find it, I'm going to snag it. And it was $7. Like, that's a steal. This was $10. It's also $10 on the band camp, but, like, I just... And this was... The wear goat was $5. Like, come on. Like, the prices are, like, I got so much sick shit from Caligari. Like, I got this for $3 one time. The gruesome stuff relish split with Opal. Like, this is, like, one of my favorite head splits. splits. It's that, like, good. And, yeah, $3. It's one of those things, like, it's always worth checking the Caligari distro. If you have even like ten dollars, because you might be able to buy something. I think like it might come to seven dollars with shipping if something's like three dollars. Because no matter what, like right now you'll find some like obscure as hell black metal demo for like two bucks. I know they have like some Bulger on there right now, like the Aura EP. I think it's an EP. Here comes the storm. But before my dog starts freaking out, I want to thank the uh, Patreon account. Hails to Dripping Decay, Profane Order, and the Mighty Weregoat. I have the poster right above my head. And the poster to Slave Bitch. Oh my. I, I love Weregoat. I'm sorry to all, to everybody. <laughs> Who find the wear goat offensive. But like Pestennial Rites of Infernal Fornication. That poster's right there. There's the Devil's Lust poster. I think I still have the uh, split with um, Eggs of G Gamora uh, poster with the LP. But I just wanted to say hails to the Patreon for making this purchase possible for the channel because this I've been getting hit up a lot over like I said th this was a personal it was so cheap and just I I can't wait to listen to it on cassette and this was asked for just like legit a couple months ago like probably at the beginning of summer somebody asked like hey have you ever gotten a copy of the Profane Order EP. And I was like, ah, nah, it's like, that's like some of my favorite material. And they were like, ah, that sucks. And then as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it's like five bucks. But I grabbed that, that fucker. I'm not gonna say, oh my Satan, I'm sorry. But uh, there's guest vocals on here by Slasher Dave, insert art by Neil Smith and Matt Slime. The cover art by Tony Hiatoma is amazing. The layout by Neil Smith rules. There's guest vocals on Barf Bag by Matt Slime. Representing Philly. Hell yeah. This is so good. Oh shit. 
Oh wait, I forgot. I pressed stop. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait, what happened to the tune? See, my brain sucks, people, and I know I use that excuse a lot, but yo, hails to Eric. I remember when he was just this dude I talked to online that lived in New Hampshire that was always super fucking cool, and I'm glad to see that he's making moves, like, with this, like, Derpin Decay, and uh, he's also in that band... Oh my god, they're on Carbonized. I love their release. I have it. Head Split did it. Hallucination. Like, hallucination. So good. But, Drippin' Decay is just more up my alley, but I love them both. They're both amazing projects, and it's great to see them. I need to get this on vinyl, honestly. Like, like I said, you can't go wrong with the black and red, but, like, I haven't been able to throw these on yet because I've just been obsessing over how good Fester and Grotesqueries is. I keep forgetting the title, but it, just look at that cover. Oh my, you know you're getting awesome with all three releases here. And yeah, obviously you're getting some war metal and some evil with Profane Order and Wear Goat. So I'm very stoked to add these to my collection. I should have got all my Wear Goat and Profane Order. I already got my Profane Order shit. I should have got all my Wear Goat tapes and LPs out and shown you folks. But I just wanted to say right now, Caligari, seriously, folks, if you have some spare change, go. Spend it over there after you join the Patreon Patreon account. It's so worth it. It helps keep this channel going and getting sick releases like this to review for you maniacs. Thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Thank you again to the Patreon. It means so much to me that anybody that's watching this, but if you go above and beyond, it's just so fucking sick. Thank you. Peace.